I think I've forgotten how to ride this bike. Weather. Crazy. Crazy weather. Also, I'll give you some guys some insight into what uh, may be coming to the channel very soon. So I'm building a 48 volt lithium ion polymer battery pack that has 20 amp hours. You might be able to figure out what that type of battery would actually go into. It does have two wheels for sure. Alright party people, welcome back to another video and uh, I thought maybe I was going to actually be able to practice the endo stoppy stuff in the backyard this past week. So when I get home from work, I could actually come out here and maybe get 30 or 40 minutes in before it actually got dark. But uh, you can tell how wet the ground is still out here. Um, I have these mats that I can line on top of the grass, but uh, even with those mats down, the water still came up through the mats. Uh, got the tires wet the mats were wet so using front brakes on the max just doesn't work out that great so got to wait for the backyard to dry out a bit before I can get some good practice in during the weeks so my practice time has been narrowed down to Fridays Saturdays and Sundays pretty much for the last couple weeks so I'm not quite meeting my goals that I want to given the weather situation I'm going to break this video down into two parts. The first part is going to be my thoughts on the manual machine and uh, how the manual machine worked for me and what I think actually works better than the manual machine for me. So also the second part of the video, I'll share some footage from my ride this past weekend. And basically I was trying to connect what I've learned with the, uh, with the endo along with um, the fakey. So just going along, popping up on the front wheel, uh, coming back down and then riding backwards or riding out of um, the stoppy with a fakie. So, uh, so there's a couple different iterations of the manual machines out there. There's the homemade version made out of wood. Um, there's, there's folks even selling versions made out of plywood. And then there's the iteration where it's basically a, um, a trainer um, where you put your bike on a trainer and uh, the version that I used was the bike on the trainer, and so I'm going to put up a picture of me um, using the manual trainer, um, using the trainer as a manual machine with both a hardtail bike and my full suspension bike. And this is something I had set up in my house in the family room, and I would get on that and uh, just you know start leaning back and and finding the balance point and kind of riding that thing out, and I got really good at it. Actually, I could, I could get on it and hold a a position where the wheel was off the ground and balanced without uh, holding on to the brake, and I could hold it for an extremely long time. Well, I wouldn't say extremely long time, but f definitely for minutes. Um, so I got very good at doing that. And then when I went to go transfer that to the bike, uh, to my chagrin, that skill actually didn't transfer. Uh, so for me, um, it was pretty much, I got good at the, riding the manual machine, but I didn't get any better at learning how to manual. I'm going to give you two reasons why I think um, practicing on the manual machine doesn't necessarily translate to actually riding or learning a manual in real life, meaning on a bicycle that is moving. So number one reason, first of all, in a manual machine, your wheel, just like in this bicycle stand, is kept in either, you know, a wood in, uh, chalk or if you're on a uh, trainer, it's, uh, you know, connected to the trainer through an axle. So it basically has you stabilized from side to side. And I think a big part of actually learning to manual is to be able to um, throw your weight back and then be able to balance from side to side so that you can manual in a straight line. Sometimes you, you don't really need to worry too much about the side to side balance, but it will come into play as you start to scrub speed. And I guarantee you when you're starting to learn how to manual, you will scrub speed because you're gonna keep your finger on that rear brake. You're not gonna be able to kind of push your, your hips in yet because you just haven't learned the movement to propel you down uh, the road. So you've gotta 
scrub some of that uh, speed off sometimes with the brake um, to keep you from looping over backwards. And so uh, just keep that in mind. Number two reason, again, is because um, I'll put it this way. Shifting your weight back with a stationary uh, rear wheel is not the same feeling as pushing your weight back as you push the bicycle forward and push the weight of your feet down into the front of the bike. And so the manual motion, as much as it is about throwing your weight back, it's also about thrusting the bike forward. And that thrusting the bike forward actually is part of getting your weight over the rear wheel versus it being 100% of just throwing your weight back. So there's a movement of thrusting your bike forward and your weight then in turn goes over the rear wheel. And as your feet are kind of pressing into the ground, that is what's lifting the front wheel. And if your rear wheel is actually stationary in a manual machine or in a trainer, you just do not get the same feeling. You, you can't thrust your bike forward. It's stationary. The bike is stationary. The only control point that you really have in that is actually throwing your weight backwards. But, you know, it is a fun project. It's fun to have that kind of set up in your house or in your garage. Uh, I can get it. It's fun building those things. I like to do that kind of stuff too. And I was eager to see if it would actually help me do manuals or learn manuals better. Um, in my case, it did not. Uh, but I tell you one thing that has helped me kind of progress in the manual. And by the way, I'm still not great at manuals. You can see my videos of me learning to manual. I still have a long ways to go but I'm a thousand times better now than I was before. Um, so what I'll share with you today is what I think is actually better than any manual machine that exists out there for me. And this may be true for you as well. And I think these things will give you the confidence to actually start learning the manual at a much more accelerated pace. So I'll share those with you. Number one, helmet gear. Um, usually when I'm learning a new skill, I'll definitely deck out with a full face helmet because it's just confidence inspiring. You never know how you're going to fall when you're learning a new skill. And if you fall flat on your face, those traditional, um, more half shell type bicycle helmets, they're not going to protect your grill, your nose area. So, uh, yeah, just wear a full face helmet. Number two, get yourself a good pair of riding pants. Yes, they will literally save your skin. And these have the flexible knee areas so that you can actually put on a set of knee pads or combo shin knee pads under there and they will fit and flex comfortably they have an adjustable waistband so you can actually put some armor underneath your butt if you need it as well number three get yourself some integrated knee and shin pads i have these isx set here and uh, I can tell you for sure, these things have saved me so many times. There is nothing like the feeling of a pedal to the shin or a knee to the bar of a bike or your knee to some asphalt or to the ground in general. All right, number four, get yourself a set of these uh, riding shorts with the integrated tailbone pad. Um, that is a hard plastic guard there. And talk about confidence inspiring put a set of these under riding pants and if you're if you have any fear of looping out or that you're gonna scrub your tailbone or, or on asphalt or whatever it may be um, these certainly help out now I'm talking out of my head here because I can't even manual good yet I've definitely got a hundred times better than I was when I began and a lot of it was because I had the confidence from padding up and knowing that I could go out and practice every day and I was seeing progress and I was getting better.
for this video. You guys know what to do. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Comment down below if you have had or if you used the manual machine and if he's helped you or not. And if you have any suggestions on how to get better at actually learning to manual, be interested in hearing those. Click that bell for post notifications. If you're coming back to this channel and you're not subscribed yet, please do so. You know what to do. Till next time, skill up and ride.